get back to back films headquarters right now. See what I mean? If you're an actor or up and coming actress, you might get to find out where that is. Uh, email info at back to back films.com. My name is Mark Hamilton, aka Seymour Cake, aka Hatman, whatever you want to call me, any one of them names, I don't mind. character's name is Clark, otherwise known as Clarky, otherwise known as Clark Bailey, that's his real name Clark Bailey so you may not hear his second name in the film but his name's Clark Bailey. Um, basically Shutdown City is showing the other side to the gang problem that we've suffered in Birmingham for, for, de for, for over a decade now. We're showing that every action causes a reaction so the victim's point of view so instead of seeing how the gang do things you're going to see how when a loved one is harmed or a loved one's brought into any sort of um, trouble the repercussions that can happen my involvement in back-to-back -back films um, producer writer camera operator sound engineer uh, Everything, everything. I mean, that's the that's the thing. That's the positive thing about back to back films. Um, everyone's not. Everyone's happy to play whatever role. Even though me personally, I'm a trained sound engineer, but I personally don't mind doing whatever. If the director on that day says, "Mark, I need you to hold the clapperboard," or "Mark, I need you to just stand by," that's what I do, and that's how everyone else does it. So that's that's the that's the good thing about back to back and. Like I said, we've had people before who haven't, who haven't wanted to do different things, so those people got moved on. Simple as that. Uh, it was a beautiful thing. The making of Shutdown City was a great experience for me. I mean, um, I'm coming from a different sort of background. Um, I've done film before, but mainly music videos, things like that. But the making of Shutdown City was a great experience. We went to uh, many different places in Birmingham. Uh, different locations. We, a lot of people helped us out with locations. A lot of people let us down at last minute. We learned a lot of different things. Like this was one of the best learning curves I've ever had, and I think a lot of the other, a lot of the crew would uh, agree with me. I enjoyed it a lot, man. I enjoyed it a lot. I think from now on, film something that I want to be involved in. Film something that it's something. It's something that I think. Is, I think it, it's an area that has a lot of potential in Birmingham, a lot of potential in Birmingham. So I want to stay involved and I want to be one of the forerunners of this film industry in Birmingham and I want to be one of the people to bring a lot of light to the city also. I mean, we've, we've actually, we're not sure yet. I mean, it depends how far we can take it. I mean, our marketing team's doing a great job. They're doing a great job pushing it to the masses. Uh, I know that we've got the screen in the first screen, and I know that's going to be ridiculous. Weak, weak, bad. There's not a lot of films that come from Birmingham. I mean, there's so much different stories and, and different um, things you hear about in Birmingham, but they're never actually put on film. I mean, the problem with the city at the minute, I would say, everybody wants to be involved in music. Nobody is swaying towards the film side. So it makes things difficult for the city when there's not a lot of young people who want to be involved in film. Because, I mean, everyone who's in back to back, we all had an ambition, had a goal. We all had a goal in mind for what we wanted to do with, with this project. And that's why we kind of started, we want to be. Like I said before, one of one of the pioneers in this film industry in Birmingham because everything's all independent, everything's self-financed with this project. We ain't got the help of no channel, nothing. So we have, we're hoping that we can do this project and those people can come down and see that we did this on our own. Yeah, man. Info at Back to Back Films. If you want to get purchase your ticket to come to the premiere, um, limited seats. Tickets are going to be available in Hatman. 
Um, make, remember there's limited tickets but there's going to be different screenings but make sure you email us and contact us to be involved. Uh, subscribe to P110, they've got all the behind the scenes, all the exclusive footage of the project. So I expect to see you all there. I expect a lot, I want all, and if you own a blog as well, if you own a blog, if you own a website, whether you're in Birmingham or out of Birmingham, get in touch, clothing sponsors as well. I want to shout out Far Far Money from Leicester. I want to shout out Doppy Clothing in Birmingham. I want to shout out Max Edition from Manchester. Hatman in Birmingham. I want to shout out, I don't want to forget nobody, Ataku. I want to shout out Ataku as well. Uh, is there anyone else? That, I think that's all the clothing sponsors. So go to their websites, buy their clothes. Do what I mean. Support the cause, man. Because this is a, this is a new thing. If you're an up and coming actor, you're up and coming actress, you're up and coming director, you're up and coming sound engineer. Get in contact with us, man. Because that's what we're looking for. Info at backtobackfilms.com. Yeah.